Hey everybody, my name is Wiltafu and a Monday vlog. I think I kind of wanted to start to do more of these. Uh, just because I've been, I've been suggested that by doing more vlogs, I uh, can interact with the community more. So yeah, but more than that, I had a week. I just finished Dishonored 2 and it was a really good series for me. And I think as I said in, in that video, um, like it was a short, it was a short story, but what makes it even better is that you can play it again and it's going to be a new experience when you choose to not have powers. There'll be an experience when you play Corvo one more time and then play him without any uh, powers too. So I'm looking forward to doing that on another time. So maybe like next month. Or two months from now, I'll play it again. Um, but I would have to say that it was really good. But another thing that was really exciting was a couple of things. One, I got to see Fantastic Beasts. And I'm so excited to talk about that quick bit. But also, I got a new graphics card for my computer. So that means better quality content. I can actually use my new um, capture card. So. I should be able to record better videos. Now, if only I can play better on God Eater 2. So I've tried to make some progress on that and I am at a standstill by myself. So I'll probably have to go online to play that episode. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see where that takes us. Oh God, uh, you'll have to see. You'll have to see how bad it was for me. But um, yeah, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It was so cool. It's been a day since, it's been two days since I've seen it. I saw it last Saturday during opening weekend. And actually normally I don't watch movies on opening weekend because I want available seats, but I was convinced and I watched the early show, 12.30 in the morning, so no one's gonna be there, but I would have to say it's beautiful because uh, like from what I've been told the uh, movie is based on the author of the uh, Fantastic Beasts Where to Find Them. The book is that's what the book is called but we don't know about that we don't really learn about that until like they have the movie so without trying to say my without trying to spoil it the best thing you can really say is that this doesn't, this is all original ideas and that's really cool because the only time you ever heard of the book is in the first movie of Harry Potter, the first book of Harry Potter, when Harry is reading the book. But at the same time, you don't even read any books about the protagonist of that movie. And this is the first time you actually ever see it. so. We've just, we've just entered a new world of Harry Potter. Now, what I can really say is that I felt the magic came back in the series because the same director for the other Harry Potter movies came back for this project and J.K. Rowling was a part of this project, which is really cool. And I would have to say what's so cool is that there's speculations of a second movie afterwards which is pretty cool because this is an original content movie so i'm excited to see what they have in stores um i would suggest everyone to watch it i got really kiddish i got really um fan i was fanboying when i saw all the beasts they were so fantastic uh my favorite so far from that is uh debbie is both Debbie and uh, oh boy I forgot uh, there's this one like platypus looking mole looking little creature that's so cool and a little like the gimmick about that little beast is that she or he has like a uh, addiction uh, fascination a um, a need to steal shiny things. 
and it gets really cool whenever the character the main character tries to set that beast straight but it's so cool and at the same time like this um, completes a couple of objectives it completes the objective of the villain and the issue of this movie and on top of that it also finishes his original purpose because he is a Brit who came to America but there's a reason why he came to America and you'll have to see it when you watch the movie if you want to know about the plot of what is going on with the villain and everything else you have to watch the movie but please go ahead and watch it it's so amazing I would recommend I would not mind watching it again next weekend I would not mind not watching it a friend of mine already is this upcoming Friday but yeah <laughs> and with this new graphics card actually it's kind of cool because my graphics card is a PNY 1050 I've been told that's good and I'm actually kind of happy that um, this actually works with my Inspiron 3847. Um, I've been planning on building a computer, but right now I'm, I'm slowly getting to it. But what's really exciting is that I'm working my way towards live streaming. So I plan to live stream this upcoming Saturday, the 26th, the 26th, the 26th of this month. It's going to be a live stream and it's going to be a charity case. It's going to be a charity live stream towards Crisis Text Line or another charity, which I am still investigating into. So I don't know much details about how to uh, make the donations happen, but I am going to do my homework on it. So look forward to that on the 26th of this month. And I'm super excited. So hope you joined me. And I'll update you more on live stream this coming later this week. So I'll probably make an announcement on Wednesday when I have confirmation. So that's going to be it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I implore you to go watch Fantastic Beasts. I implore you go watch Doctor Strange. I've not watched Doctor Strange yet, but I've seen like behind the scenes. So for example, the mat, how they do the spells. It's so cool. They're just finger tutting, which is beautiful. I'm so excited to watch it now. I'm so excited more so. But enough about me, enough of me rambling. I'll see you next time. Again, my name's What the Foo, and I'm a friend. <laughs> Bye.